Welcome to another edition of Feel This Pain. I'm Ken McKim, and today we're talking about Tarlov cysts. Now, the name itself sounds like it should be the name of a James Bond supervillain, but in reality, they are cysts, or inflammations of the, uh, the sheaths, the coverings of your spinal nerves, and they get filled with fluid. And it's a very special kind of fluid called cerebrospinal fluid. And they swell, and they're extremely painful. They tend to form between the S1 and S4 area of the spine. So, in other words, right about there. Now, this isn't to say that they can't form in other places. They just tend to form anywhere in the spine where nerve roots of the spinal cord are to be found. And as you might expect from hearing the words nerve and root, these are very painful to deal with. Now, what kind of symptoms are we talking about? Well, pain from sitting too long, pain from standing too long, getting extremely dizzy whenever you change position, which you're going to have to do because sitting or standing too long is inherently painful. And then you have the feeling when you sit down that you're sitting on top of a very sharp, pointy rock. And while that might sound kind of funny to you, imagine if every surface you looked at that you might possibly want to sit on, whether it's a couch or your favorite chair, you're filled with dread just contemplating the idea because you're standing there looking at the chair and just knowing that to sit on it is going to feel like sitting on a very pointy rock. And it's going to leave you with the feeling of that pointy rock being pushed up through your tailbone and into the nerves of your spinal cord. This is what you would look like. Yeah, that's that's about the proper expression on someone's face that's feeling that kind of pain. And because these symptoms can come and go, it's kind of a crapshoot as to whether or not sitting down is going to bring you relief, comfort, or just extreme pain. So there's a lot of anxiety that goes along with having Tarlov cysts. Now, of course, there are treatment options, there's injections, there's pills, and there's even a surgical option in some cases, but Tarlov cysts tend to be how shall we say, fragile, which makes surgery problematic. And plus, after going through all of that to have them surgically removed, they can just grow back anyway. So people with Tarlov cysts are part of that group known as uh, people with invisible illnesses, whose pain is caused by something that's completely unseen. And so they have to deal with all the same blow back as people with fibromyalgia and Crohn's and ulcerative colitis and cluster headaches and migraines in that since people can't see why they're in pain they tend to doubt the legitimacy of their pain claims. And I would like to thank Holly Meshko who wrote in to me at Ken at don'tpunishpain.com and asked me to please bring more attention to this very painful disease. So uh, Holly, I hope this helped and wherever you are tonight. I hope that you're doing well. Thank you for writing in, and if you have a question or would like me to address a specific topic, go ahead and write to me, Ken, at don'tpunishpain.com. You can also follow me over on Twitter, at don'tpunishpain. If you'd like to learn more about uh, society's changing attitudes towards the chronically ill, I invite you to watch The Slow Death of Compassion for the Chronically Ill which is my 32-minute video on the subject, and you can see that right here on this YouTube channel. So that's it. Thank you for joining me, and until next time, I'm Ken McKim. You take care.